guys oh baby i don't know why i never believed that i can do something but i can do anything baby guys guys my eye it literally is burning yeah a babysitting gig which i am so grateful for the um i am so grateful to them because i paid for school <laughs> through babysitting okay Hey guys, how are you doing? It's a whole nother day. I hope you're doing well. Uh, per usual, we're coming on here. <laughs> Looking like Raggedy Ann. I'm getting my hair done by myself. I'm doing my hair because the wedding is this week, like I said before in the last vlog and I think the last clip. So I'm just kind of like prepping myself since I won't really have time to do my hair for the rest of the week. Why is it so exposed right now? What is happening? Whatever. But yeah, so I'm really just doing a updo style. And this is going to be in a bun up here. Like a high pony bun, ponytail. Not bun, a ponytail hairstyle. So I have the hair that I used in like a previous hairstyle. It's just so in hair. So I'm just going to like pull everything up. And what's the word? Braid it up sew in the hair and then do a braided thing on top of it to cover up the tracks and yeah it should look good that's the hair i'm using for the braid i thought i had enough braiding hair but i don't so i'm going to be using the lulu tress um i think it's deep twist hair just to braid that strand right there so i'm doing the rubber band method and then i'm doing rubber band method here which i've already done i'm just going to braid this part braid this part rubber band it will be good. This is what the hair looks like. That's the texture. And the hair that I'm sewing on is going to be curly anyway, so it's gonna work. I'm just gonna pull it in, pull it in. And if anything, I can even like crochet curly hair onto the braids. We'll see. Maybe I'm just doing the most. Anyway, I'm about to do my hair and then eat dinner because I'm hungry and tired. It's been a long day. I've been working all day. I'm tired. I'm uploading a video that's coming up this week that's going to be premiering, I guess, this week. Um, So go watch that vlog. Watch this vlog. Watch my other, other vlogs. Watch my music video. It's going up in views and I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Let me know what you think. But yeah, yeah. I'm actually going to later on in this vlog have a real conversation with you guys about that song and why I wrote that song. So yeah, stay tuned to the end of this video. You guys. <laughs> okay, I literally left y'all from that last clip to this clip. I left y'all like 10 seconds ago. Okay, I like, like a minute ago. And, okay, one thing that I have not been able to successfully do on myself, because I just be scared to do it, and when I have claws, I don't like doing my nails, I mean, <laughs> I don't like doing hair myself because I feel like it's not as neat when I have nails on, but y'all, do you see that? I did a cornrow on myself with hair, with hair, and it's clean, and it's neat, and it's... It's laid. I can do hair. Don't come for me. Don't ask me to do hair for you. No. <laughs> Maybe for a good price. But whoa. I'm excited for this hairstyle now. Let's just pray. I'm literally praying every step of the way. Like, Lord, let this look good. Please, 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 please. I got to look good at this wedding. Lord, please. <sighs> but y'all, I'm excited. Okay, let me finish. And then I can get excited. Let me finish. Guys. Okay, be quiet. Okay, wow, alright. Guys. Ooh, baby. I don't know why I never believed that I can do something. But I can do anything, baby. Okay? It's like, this looks so good. Look at the hair. I'm not done yet. I just did a braid. Quick little braid. I'm going to wrap it around. Wrap it around here and then sew it on. I could just, um, what's the word? Not me trying to say staple, not staple. I could bobby pin it down. Stapling would be faster. <laughs> but I'm just going to sew it down real quick. 
and eat. So last time I started vlogging guys and showing you guys how I was doing my hair was around, mm, I don't know, six o'clock, seven o'clock, one of those. It is now 11 p.m. One, <laughs> it didn't take me forever to do this part. I was just taking my, my, taking my time because I wanted to do it well. And whenever I do hair for myself, like I take my time so it doesn't, because I have a tendency to just rush when I'm doing my own hair. When I'm doing other people's hair, I take like I do it well. But when I'm doing my own hair, I'm just like, yeah, whatever. But I wanted it to look really nice, so I did it really nicely. I'm still going to gel the back. I'm going to pull this in the bun and like gel the back. Because what I did was I tied a scarf onto my head to keep the hair down. But as I was sewing this hair, which this which is what took forever, sewing this around because there's such a long strand and I didn't want to double up and sew it doubled up, doubling up the wefts. I didn't want to do that because to it wouldn't look as full as I wanted it to look, if that makes sense. But yeah, this took forever. Anyway, as I was sewing this, I sewed on my scarf. I was going to show it, but I was in distress. <laughs> I sewed on the scarf that I had on my head to this. So it took a while to get it out and fix it. And we're here now. We're here now. So we're good. We're good. I'm just going to sew that little piece on. And I'm ready, baby. And it's occurred. It's occurred. Okay. I'm going to go make dinner now at 11 p.m. I'm hungry. Do you see my eyes? <laughs> I'm tired. Hey, guys. It's Thai Thai. I'm back another day. Okay, we got the hair done. It was a struggle, but we got it done. Guys, look at my eye. This one eye right here is ready to take a nap. This eye is ready to take a nap. Look. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so tired. I was working today. I was studying for a certification. I was doing content things. I was just, I'm tired. Um, What are we talking about today? I actually just picked up a package. The two dresses that I ordered, emergency dresses that I ordered for um, the wedding. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the last vlog. Damage the dress. Damage the dress. Anyway, go watch the last vlog so you can be updated. Also, watch my mu music video. I am trying to make a protein shake right now. <laughs> Not really a protein shake. I bought um, a smoothie from Panera earlier. I'm about to add my protein powder to it. And yeah, let me stop rambling. I really came on here to talk about something. Um, well, guys, no, literally, look at this eye. She is sleepy. I can't wait to get my lashes done this week on Friday so I can stop looking like a baby, like a five-year-old. I mean, I still look like a baby with lashes on, but still, not as much. All right, let's talk. Let's get into this, okay? Let's gist, okay? I want to gist with you people. Um, What are we talking about? We're actually talking about the reason why, the reason I wrote somebody because I think I should talk about it finally. I don't know if I've ever talked about it. I probably did, but not like this. But let's talk about it before I have to do everything else I have to do for the rest of the day. Oh, I actually have, yo, this eye is actually bothering me. Sorry, I'm like really distracted. A lot has been going on and I'm like coked up, not coked up. <laughs> I am literally high on sugar and coffee and yeah. This nail came off. We have to get her done on Friday as well. But today I have to go to the gym. I have to clean, I have to do my laundry, I have to cook a little bit because I was hungry and I don't got no more food and I'm tired of leftovers actually. Um, yeah, so after this, after me vlogging and such, I'm gonna get my life together. Get my life together. Uh, guys, guys, my eye, it literally is burning. I need a nap. <laughs> this will probably be my thumbnail. <laughs> I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm stressed. Okay, so um, my song, Somebody, if you haven't heard the song, I'm a singer. Um, if you're new here, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter. Um, yeah, there's a song called Somebody that I wrote that I actually released last year. Or end of last year? Yeah, end of last year. And I actually did a video to it. So if you have not seen it, 
Go watch it. Go watch that video right now. It's called Somebody by Tayo, T-A-I-Y-O. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so this song, I wrote it when I was actually really down on myself. Porque I'm a recovering, <laughs> a recovering people pleaser. Come on in here if you are recovering or a people pleaser in general. Just come, come in here. Come into the chat. Let's come in, come in. Let's have a conversation. So yeah, um, I was basically dealing with a lot of low self-esteem. I was, I'm a nice person. And a lot of times my kindness is taken for granted. A lot of times my kindness is, how do I want to word this? People take advantage of my kindness and I notice it, but it's also like, I have this notion or this belief or whatever. I feel like I don't want to change who I am. And I've said it on this channel before. I don't want to change who I am, which is the kind person I am because of how people are treating me, right? But I can also have boundaries. I can also create margins to protect me, even if I am kind to people, right? And that's something that I have been learning and growing from and healing from. And I'm so grateful for therapy, for the Lord, for the, my community around me, for those who actually look at me and say, hey girl, we need to reevaluate the situation. Um, yeah, so I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to think it was happening, but yeah, I was being taken advantage of. But anyway, I wrote the song Somebody because I was really low on myself. I was really sad. I was thinking that, you know, like when you're transitioning, it was a time in my life when I switched from being a physical therapist. I wanted to be a physical therapist because I'm all about fitness, right? And that's the one thing that made sense at the time. Um, I was going to be a therapist at first, like a counselor at first. And I was just like, mm, I don't see myself doing that. Then I also listened to people's advice telling me, right, this was right before I went to college, telling me, you'll never make money in that, you know, a 16-year-old, 17-year-old mind. I was actually 16 at the time. 16 year old time, I mean 16 year old mind is just like, okay, I'm not gonna make money in it. You know, these are adults, they're giving me advice and I'm a listener, okay? I'm a listener. I obey. <laughs> I obey to a fault. Um, yeah, so I listened, I took their advice and I was like, okay, fine, let's research and figure out what we want to do. Of course, track, track was life. I was always running, I was always into fitness. I'm always in the front of the, uh, our, what's it called? Our trainer at school who was always like hey extra what is, what is she called i forgot anyway so i just kind of learned from her i took on a lot of things that she would you know tell us to do techniques she'll tell us to do to get our bodies better fitness wise so i was just like you know what i'm actually interested in that so i went into physical therapy um long story short that didn't work out i know i didn't want to be a physical therapist for the rest of my life because i sat down and i said time in five years because I did work at a physical therapy clinic, um, MedStar, for a long time. And I would have conversations with the therapists. A lot of them became like mentors to me, honestly. And I love them. I love the job. But I was like, mm, let me not say, let me not say, I don't, mm. I like the job. I don't love it. Because I sat down and I said, would I want to do this for the rest of my life? And the only answer that came up was no. No. Quick, immediate, no. Immediately, no. I had conversations with a the therapist that were mentors to me and they said, well, if this is not something you see yourself doing for the rest of your life, don't go into it because you're going to be paying debt for a long time. And the schools I wanted to go into, I would be paying debt for a long time. And yeah, long story short, I had to reevaluate. I think this was like around 2018 at this, no, 2017. Reevaluated, I was literally after graduation, it took me, what, three years after graduating <laughs> from college, thinking everything is gonna just go smooth and fall into place, okay? Like, that's another conversation. Like, when you are a Nigerian or even a foreign child, you have expectations, okay? You have things that are expected of you to hit all these milestones immediately. Meanwhile, life is like, that's not, God is like, that's not what I have for you. That's not how things are gonna go. And I didn't think that's what God wanted for me anyway, so I would pray about it. I spoke to my spiritual mentors about it, and all I kept getting was, 
I don't think this is for you. God isn't telling you this is for you. And I was just like, let's reevaluate. Let's just switch everything up. I researched. I looked into different things. I don't even know what I have. <laughs> I don't even know what I wanted to do besides singing. And being the Nigerian older, oldest, eldest child of my family that I am, you're expected to be a doctor, engineer, something, all those things, right? So I'm over here like, oh dang, like all I want to do is sing. I know my parents are not going to support this. They don't even support it right now. Because at that time I started trying to do it. Like I, I got my feet wet, all that stuff. But I was just like, you know what? Let's just do something that I know I'll be interested in. And I know like my skill set, like everything I've learned can be transferable, you know? Fine. We went into it. We researched it. I kept looking. I had one of my um, sisters help me looking into it. And I was just like, you know, how about we just go into IT? I knew nothing of IT, okay? I knew nothing. I think Katana, I don't know if you know Katana. She's an influencer, a big influencer. She just spoke about this in one of her um, TikToks and it really hit me and I was just like, that's me. <laughs> like a lot of times like life is gonna throw you curveballs, and you don't even know who, what you're supposed to be but it's gonna happen when it's supposed to happen. Like you're going to be who you're meant to be. You're going to fall into what you're supposed to do by happenstance sometimes, you know? So long story short, got into IT. By God's grace, I was able to get into a master's program. I don't know how. You know when you obey? <laughs> when you take that leap of faith and you just obey, things kind of fall into place. Cool, great, I got into school. Um, COVID happened, COVID, I got into school three months before COVID. COVID hit, I lost my job. Meanwhile, the job I had was not paying much, but it w I was gonna use it to pay for school because I ain't got no money. I'm not trying to take on no loans or whatever. Long story short, lost my job. I was laid off because of COVID. Didn't have a job for what, three months? <laughs> I'm in school. So I had to rely on my parents and like cry and beg like just to get them to pay for school. I mean, they're telling me to go to school, but they didn't want to pay for it. Anyway, um, yeah, so by God's grace, I was able to get a babysitting gig, which I am so grateful for. The, um, I am so grateful to them because I paid for school <laughs> through babysitting. Okay, I paid for school. Meanwhile, I'm still doing music. I'm still trying to release music at this point. So I'm paying for school and I'm paying for music. Music is not cheap. Okay, so if you see your friends trying to be an artist, me guys, me support me, please, please. It's expensive to make music, and especially as a woman. And if you don't have like friends who are in this music thing who make beats or whatever, buying a beat and not leasing it, buying a beat full out, like outright, it's in your name. Like no one is going to take it from you. Buying a beat is expensive, okay? Going to the studio is expensive. Recording the song is expensive. Mixing and mastering the song is expensive, especially if you want good quality, okay? Making your dreams come true is expensive, but we keep doing it. Anyway, so back to why I wrote somebody. So I wrote somebody because later on in life, you know, I've gotten close to certain people, I've gotten close to certain communities, and we're good. But I still wasn't feeling like myself. I didn't feel like I belong in the community. I wasn't happy. I was just like, this ain't it. Like, <laughs> like who am I? Like, literally, who am I? Long story short, while I was still at school, I lost my job, right? Got a babysitting gig. Maybe months later, I was maybe like four or five months later, I was able to get a job that my friend recommended me for, which I'm grateful to her. Thank God for her life. She up leveled in life and said, you know what? I'm gonna bring my friend with me, which thank God for her. Be a girl's girl, protect your friends. Another lesson. But yeah, so she was able to recommend for the job. I got the job. It's not a great job, but it was a job, okay? It was money <laughs> to pay for music and for school. While I was at this job, it was an easy job. I was able to get through school, do my work, pay for school, all that stuff, right? I'm in this job, depressed, sad, like literally hyperventilating every single day, hating this job. I walk into this job and I'm just like, oh, 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 like I wanted to be sick. Like I literally hated this job. I'm at this job one day and I'm just like really sad about everything that's happened to me. I'm sad about the community I was in. I'm sad about the people that were mentoring me. And I was just like, who am I? And it just came up and I started talking about feeling like I know I want to be somebody, 
but the person I want to be is probably not going to please a lot of people. But then the Bible verse came, you can't please God and man. And it felt like everything I have done up until this point, that point in life, was me trying to please man, not God, not going into what I'm called to do, not going into what I believe God is telling me to do. It was, oh, let me make sure my parents were happy. Let me make sure my, my, my pastors were happy. Let me make sure my leaders were happy. Let me make sure my friends were happy. It had nothing to do with me or my dreams, my visions, right? Cool, so I'm just writing the song. And as I'm writing the song, like somebody, I wanna be somebody, I wanna be somebody, 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 sorry. <laughs> um, I'm literally thinking like, dang, whoever I want to be is not gonna make y'all happy. Like it's not, even what I do now doesn't make anybody happy. Like I felt like I was changing myself just to please those around me. I was changing how I dressed, how I look, how I smiled to make <laughs> certain people happy and it hurt. Like I was literally breaking myself down. Like I promise you y'all, like I literally saw a vision of myself breaking myself down and changing who I am to a point that I couldn't even see myself anymore. It was a vision. It's weird. But I was just like, yeah, like, I want to write this song to inspire people. Like, you really got to go for what God is calling you to be. You really got to go for who your heart, like, I think I heard someone say heart song. Like, where your heart is leading you to, go for it. Like, God will always direct you to who you're meant to be, even if it doesn't look like what it's supposed to look like for people or what people imagined you would be doing even though it doesn't look like that for them god will always put you in the right position when you, once you believe in him and you trust in him and you're just praying and you're leaning on him god will always 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 and never he never fails like never ever 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 fails and i feel like that's part of why i write certain songs or how i what i and I can't speak what inspires me to write these songs you know and it's just like let my life be a, a servant let my life serve people I guess like let my life be the story a testimony for people to say you know what if she could do it I could do it like there are people that I'm looking up to like dang if Sherry Shepard could do this at this age I could do it too if Tamar Braxton can sing, even though her sister is a living legend, even though, even though she had all these repertoire behind her, even though her husband at the time was a record label, whatever producer, whatever he was, and she didn't make it until later on, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna just trust the Lord, I'm gonna keep working at it, and I'm gonna make it. And yeah, I hope this makes sense. I hope this helps you. I really just wanted to talk about it because I don't think I ever really talked about why I wrote the song. It was really just me like, praying and wishing to be really who I want to be. Like, I want to be somebody, not, like somebody that goes on in history, like somebody that leaves a legacy for the world in like an influential, positive, loving way. For me, like, love is very big for me and it could be because of how I like, how I crave love. Love is just very important to me and I just feel like it's, it's lacking in this world church love is lacking and i really just want everyone to really really love like christ like really go into the bible and study love like just research research about love i really just feel like that's what i'm meant to do in this world that's what i want to do through this platform through youtube so if you like what you're watching if you like what i'm saying please subscribe share it with your friends let people know i really just want to be an inspiration I want to be a testimony to other people to hold on to, to just keep going, to keep fighting. And y'all pray for me because we're doing this together, okay? Like, we're all trying to make it together. We are all just trying. I think I heard that on Greenleaf. Yeah, it was on Greenleaf. She said, we're all just trying. And that's all God really wants from us, just to try. And be not, we can't be perfect like God. It's just try. So, yeah, I hope this makes sense. Understand why I wrote the song. It's a journey. Life's a journey. And you just gotta go for what you solely believe you're meant to do. Not do anything for people. Not do anything to please the world. Because again, you can't please God and man. You can't have two masters. You can't you can't please two masters. So yeah. Hope you guys understand. Let me do, let me know down in the
the comments if you understand, if you feel me, if you feel the same way, if you're going through the same thing. Let's communicate, let's chat about it, you know? Let me know what you're doing with so we can pray together, so we can work ahead together, you know? That's really what I want this community to be about. So, <laughs> so I feel like my hair. Anyway, I'm gonna go rest this eye after I do the billions of things that I have to do today. Yeah, I'm about to do laundry, so I'll probably take you guys with me. Hey you guys, it is traditional wedding day. And I'm cute, not my traditional wedding. I'm not getting married, not yet. The man's still coming, okay? I just wanted to show you guys my face that I just did. I'm not done, I still gotta spray my face, but I have been using, okay, you know how Huda Beauty, if you do, comment down below. Huda Beauty has the lavender, I'm in the mood. The lavender um, setting powder. Fenty Beauty has the same Huda Beauty was sold out when I was trying to buy it. But Fenty Beauty has the same one. It's lavender. Let me get away from the light. I'm ashy, y'all. Yeah. 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 It's lavender. Okay. It's it's real cute. Okay. Y'all, I used it. Let me zoom into my face because the girl is cute. The girl, do you? I still gotta clean my face up, but we're cute I am so happy I am so happy I look so good y'all I keep trying to listen in because I keep thinking I'm hearing my name on the meeting I'm not but no like I look like I professionally did my face and with the hair do you like the hair guys that's what I'm wearing for the wedding right there but ooh, girl Oh girl, it is literally overcast outside, so like there's barely like good lighting. But I wanted to show you in like um natural light. Oh my god. Let me go finish getting ready because I need to leave in like an hour. So Okay, so I'm done getting ready. We're about to go. Christine is here. She's in a meeting for work. And literally this is our station. <laughs> work and then her bags are right there. My bags are right there. It's a thing, but ooh, even in every lighting, I look good. Eek. Eek. 
Look at your girl. Wow. Pink actually looks good on me. My lip is not gonna be this, but yeah, we're just trying to get ready and yeah. get out of here. I'm hungry now, but I can't eat because my dress is a corset. She's good. She's good. And it's gonna hurt if I eat. It's gonna hurt. Kilo told me why. Oh, Rarely told me why. You guys, my dress is like so long. Oh my god. I'm trying to show you, but I have to gut it. Hold on. Hold on a second. Oh, Rary Lomo told me why. Maybe if I go over there. Oh, Rary Lomo told me why. Only you could want more. Only I were wanting. You know that's what I'm singing for the praise and worship? Oh, God. Okay. You guys. Well, no, I don't know. I think that's what I'm saying. Guys, look how long oh, this dress is. Hold on. First of all, I did my makeup. I started my makeup at 12.30. I finished around like one. It's definitely, it is definitely 1.56 a.m. Friday. This traditional was on Thursday, yesterday, last night. I'm tired, I just got home. My mother decorated for this event. My mother and her friends have a decorating business and they decorated for this event. And it's just them three that were packing up. And I was like, that's crazy. So I went, I came home, changed, went back to go help them like pack up and take my mom home. Cause I'm like, ain't no way. Like I'm gonna have you sitting here by yourself with just your friends and you're packing up and y'all older women. Like, so I went back to go help them cause my brothers weren't even home. So. Anyway, I just got home. I'm about to drink me some tea because my throat is tired. I couldn't eat because my dress was snatched to the quads. It was snatched, okay? I could barely, why is this camera lopsided? There she is. I could barely walk. This dress was bomb, okay? It's fire, I can't wait to get my pictures. It was fire, I was looking real good, okay? Even the aunties went in my dress. But I couldn't walk and I couldn't eat. And the, the train was very long, so I couldn't even walk. I really couldn't eat because I was snatched. So I'm gonna eat me some rice. Yes, at 1.56 a.m. Just a little bit, because I'm really hungry. I don't wanna wake up starving. And I'm gonna drink me some tea because my throat. But y'all, I really like, look at this makeup. 12 hours later, literally 12 hours later, and I was sweating. This is the demarcation from the gilly. <coughs> but y'all, I'm a makeup artist at this point. I'm cute. I did that, look at that. I did that, okay? I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed, go wipe off this bomb makeup, okay? Woo! Wow, it's like taking off a curtain when you take off your lashes. <laughs> and this lip liner is the best one I've had. Yeah, I'm gonna buy more from them, from the lip bar. The lip bar, and this one is called Straight Shooter. Okay, good night. No, is it straight facts or straight shooter? One of those. I'll figure it out. But yeah. Good night, guys. I will see you in the morning with my scratchy voice. Hopefully, it's fine by then. Good night. Hey, you guys. It is me. It is Tile. I know I look different. But dang, Gucci did that. Look how good I look. Look at this eye makeup. Do you see it? It's so pretty. <gasps> I look so good. Okay, and my dress. Where's my dress? My dress is right here. I'm gonna look so good today, y'all. It's wedding day. Not mine, but it's wedding day. <laughs> okay so it was wedding day was as in like i'm just getting home as in like what time is it 
as in is a 1 37 a.m. I'm coming back again at 1 a.m. Coming back home at 1 a.m. I'm tired. Oh my gosh. Look at my heater so loud. Or oh, listen to my heater so loud. But I just wanted to give y'all an update because I look good. Okay, let me close the door. We're done. We're done. We're done, babes. We're done. Do you see how her dog is so good? Let me show you this fit. Let me show you this dress. Let me show you this dress. Okay, let me move back. Do you see? Do you see? Let me move away from the team. Do you? I'm unavailable. Them know they see me. I'm unavailable. Actually, I'm very available. Please, thank you. Psych. <laughs> Y'all, I look so good. The wedding was fun. The wedding was long. The wed wedding was a lot. I had a good time, though. I truly enjoyed the wedding. Congratulations, Ayo and Oi. You guys are so cute. They look so good. Let me turn on this heater. They looked so, so good. Oi is literally the queen of butterflies, the queen of color, the queen of buga. Yo, look at this makeup. Hold on. Like in every lighting, let's go in the bathroom. Like in every lighting, I'm not even gonna edit any of this. Y'all can just see all my 1 a.m. shenanigans. In every lighting, okay, this is too harsh. It's too exposed, too exposed. But we're cute. Yeah, right here. Ooh, baby. What energy do I have at 1 a.m. as if it's not Easter? As if I shouldn't go to bed. Go to bed and get ready for Easter. Like go shower and get ready for Easter. Because it's technically morning. Anyway, this was the little purse that I used with my outfit. Do you like her? Do you like her? I got her from um, Ego. Ego Official. Um, yeah, it's so cute. Right? My shoes were pink too, like a metallic pink. Wow, I feel like I was yelling. Now I'm like softer. Anyway, I am about to eat so much food right now because I'm hungry, even though I ate so much at the wedding also. As soon as I was done helping, I went and I crushed. When I say I crushed, I had two plates. I crushed, I was hungry. I'm cute. I'm a show or insert a TikTok, a real something, a video of my fit, so y'all can get the whole thing. My hair was giving as well. I did an amazing job, thank God. But guys, Gucci Glow did my face, the Gucci Glow on Instagram. The last video I did, and she did my makeup as well. So go book her, okay? If you like what you see on my face, go book her. And when my voice starts doing this like soft, cute raspiness it means i'm tired and i'm probably gonna lose my voice so pray for me like it's happening as we speak <laughs> oh my god i had a good time i genuinely had a good time at this wedding it was so fun i can insert some clips if this vlog isn't too long but yeah guys i'm happy i love weddings i love love I just look at the smile on my face Partly because of the wedding, and partly because of how good I look. Because, Sam, um, I look good, okay? I look... I look yummy, okay? I look so yummy. <laughs> okay, I should probably stop bothering you guys and go to bed, right? It's 1.41 a.m. I should go to bed. Okay, hold on. Let me show you the makeup, for real. Do you see? Do you see this? Do you see this beauty? Ooh. It's like subtle, but still like vroom. Like vim. Like ooh. Like ah. Like ah. <laughs> I'm a joke when I'm tired. Okay. All right. Good night, guys. Happy Easter. I'll come back on Easter day and I'll close out this vlog. Love you. Good morning! Happy Easter everybody! Hi guys! We're on our phone today. We're vlogging on the phone because we are on the way to church. It's Easter. 
I feel good. I woke up. Six miles. Bear right to merge onto MD2 request towards She just likes to talk. She likes to get into the vlogs. Like, I don't understand what's wrong with Siri. Like, whenever I'm vlogging is when she wants to talk. Like, come on. Anyway, I am on my way to church. I actually woke up early. I got ready in time. I'm gonna make it to church on Easter early. Look at me, God is good. <laughs> and I look so good, guys. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get a full video of my full outfit today because I am actually impressed with myself, okay? If I do say so myself, I look really good today. Okay, <laughs> on our way to church, I will see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, we're, what? Well, I'm out of church already. We've been out of church, but I was just hanging out with people, which is like rare for me. Commuting, commuting, <laughs> commuting, commuting with people after church. It's like I can be an extrovert when I feel like it, but the days that I'm like, I don't want to be around people. So there are some days that I'm like an introvert, and lately I've been an introvert. But today I was like, Let's talk to people probably because I was feeling myself but yeah I don't know I just why you always as I was saying um yeah today I'm just like really happy I don't know if it's the weather change it's the sun it's the breeze it's the air oh it's so nice and the colors the colors honey is looking really good today I'm wearing a tweed pants I'm wearing tweed pants like flat <laughs> anyway um yeah i don't know i'm like in a different headspace for some reason not for some reason no i'm like i'm glad i'm in this different headspace because this is me a goofball a happy bubbly goofball but i'm about to take myself out on a date and um just enjoy the day like it's very impromptu so we're just gonna call this an impromptu solo day because i'm just like why not why not just go out and eat some nice food get a nice drink you know my mama calling hold on anyway my mother called and we were talking for a little bit <laughs> i am on my way now to take myself on a date and i'm just gonna go to a chill restaurant i was gonna go to bethesda and like be a fancy girl but it's far from my place and i want to kind of be close to home so when i'm done i can just go crash on my couch <laughs> Today seems like a, let's go out, but let's go crash and take a nap because I'm tired, okay? It's been a lot. But I think I'm just going to go enjoy the day and write some intentions for myself. Bro, Siri is always trying to be in my video. Okay, she's done. But yeah, I'm going to write some intentions for myself and write down what I like about myself. It's going to be like a very intimate day. But I think I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go home first, get my AirPods so I can be, you know, be by myself and just enjoy. I'm excited. We're finally doing a, well, not finally, because I've done some, but I didn't show it. And I didn't make it intentional. We're finally doing a solo day, guys. Let's do it.
I didn't want to sit. Like I want, I walked into the restaurant thinking, okay, I want to sit at a table, but I kind of want to be away from people. And at this particular restaurant, sometimes that's not gonna always happen because it's always packed. People are always there. It's, good. it's called Jacao. It's in Colombia. It's really good. Um, I love their food. It's Thai food. Um, it's so good. It's so good. Like flavorful. The right amount of spice. Like anyway, um. I wanted to sit in the back, but lo and behold, of course, the way God works, I had to be sat right in the middle. And as soon as I walked in, I sat down. Of course, I got the stairs like she's by herself. Like after like five, ten minutes, I started getting stairs like, oh, my God, she's by herself. And I'm like, this is really going to help the confidence level. <laughs> it did, honestly, like after like a couple minutes. I was like, okay, I could do this. I could sit here and eat and enjoy myself and not worry about what people think. And I, at one point, I actually forgot people around me. <laughs> I looked around, I was like, oh, <laughs> let me not be weird. It was fun though, it was really good. Um, I'm trying to plan, like while I was there, I couldn't watch the stuff I wanted to watch because when you're planning a solo date, always make sure your electronics that you want to use like if you want to vlog and you have your camera i literally came home to come get my camera only to find out that i left my charger i mean the battery in the house and also i thought that my airpods were charged they were not so I couldn't watch the shows I wanted to watch like I planned. So I just switched gears and I started planning the trip I wanted to take for my birthday. I want to take a really solo, like not really, I want to take a solo, fun, eat, pray, love trip to a place I've always wanted to go to. But I'm gonna do it by myself and then I'll take it with friends later. But yeah, so I started planning that kind of and i kind of know when i want to go so i think once i i already <laughs> once i say i want to do something it might take me a little bit of time to actually start doing it then once i pl start planning it looking into dates looking into stuff and i'm like okay we're doing this so we're definitely doing it i'm excited i saw the price for the flight which isn't bad hey don't worry about me okay about me <laughs> anyway there's a car parked in front of me um yeah, so I started planning that. I'm about to go take pictures and then I'm gonna go upstairs in my I'm home now. I'm gonna go home and clean. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna drink a glass of wine and just relax. Don't I look so cute, y'all? I've been feeling myself lately. Literally, and I'm happy. I'm happy about it. Thank God for the happy days. Thank God for the happy times. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for dying and giving us a second chance thank you lord thank you for the billions of second chances wow it's resurrection sunday guys just be grateful be grateful that we have jesus and if you don't believe in jesus just be grateful regardless okay i'm gonna go take pictures and then i'll probably sign out later because i'm gonna just close out this vlog and then start a new one later this week so yeah I'll see you guys soon. Oh God, my voice is gone. I'm so tired. Bye guys.